Hello YouTube and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna be looking at taking off the barn door handle, repainting it the same color as the van, bashing it back on there and getting it ready to fit a reversing camera. Let's get started. Right, so you've got to get rid of your door trim panel. Now you're literally um, taking it off however you've attached it with pegs, pins, whatever you've done. I've got screws in mine because it was only a temporary colour. Um, I'm going to be hopefully relining my whole van at some stage with a lighter grey. When you get to this stage, you're going to want to try and remove this um, because there's some spline bolts which are in behind this panel. Um, and easier rather than trying to take the whole of this out fiddly as it may be I found that um, by removing this panel um, now obviously you need to remove these two metal parts first um, this one just pops out of there this one so the third one along one two three is on the bottom and again that just pops off um, you want to do it gently uh, obviously you don't want to break these little plastic clips so once you've got these two off this and this one um, I'll sort of zoom in as a point to them so this one, and this one you're going to want to put a bit of pressure down so almost as if you're trying to pull it down and out you're going to put a little bit of pressure on it and release those slightly again so you can see that it kind of dropped down a bit and as you do that you pull down obviously don't absolutely blare at it because you'll snap it um, and then what you can do with a bit of jiggery pokery pickery dippery dippery <laughs> without getting too stuck is lift her out trying not to bend all of these metal bits that help you out doing your door right so put that to one side there's four of these spline bolts now there's one there one there one just on there and then there's one so I guess handy working on your own van but I mean what you then realize and find and notice and stuff is actually there's an access point here which when I carpet lined um, now it's right near the edge so I'm not going to want to cut it too much I'm just going to spin this round here right so when I carpet lined the door I actually covered it up um, so I can pop my thing through there and undo it There is now here a connection point for the like number plate lights. Uh, it's really tricky to do stuff with one hand, isn't it? So there we go. All right, so we're going to get that off, and then I'm just going to pop that off there. Pull that round this way. Take out the grommet that's in here. If I can get to it. Okay, maybe we'll have a look at that in a second. But once you've done that, you can carefully pull that off and we'll go for the grommet. Yeah, go for the grommet this side and then thread your cable and everything. But that is it really, that, that's really straightforward to take off. Uh, okay, so what we're gonna do is release the uh, number plate lights themselves um, and then we'll get it all cleaned up and then we'll look at spraying it with the primer to start with. Now this isn't um, an advertisement for this stuff, uh, but these are the guys that I get my paint from. Um, this is rainbow paint. This is a high build and etch primer. Um, it's really good for plastics. And then I also found that this color match for my van is pretty much as close as factory close as I can get it. Um, so these guys are really good. 
uh, and just while it's raining I thought I'd just show you these so as I said I'm not this isn't an advertisement for them but if you are looking for some paint and stuff and you're in the business of having a go yourself at stuff like that rainbow paints um, as it says on here suppliers of industrial and automotive paint and consumables so they pretty much do any paint you need they can mix it up there and then and stuff like that um, so I think these guys were in fern down so that was pretty sick um, so I ordered some of that and I got some of this and some of this um, start with the primer and you're gonna want to give it a light dusting all over to start with it's almost like a, a tack that's your first little tack in layer you're gonna want to let that dry for a few minutes and then you want to give it your second coat So what I've done is given that three coats. Um, so that is now primed up. What we're gonna do is let that dry. So what we've been able to do is leave the primer to dry and now we're gonna put a light dusting of the white over the top. Now just continue trying to build up coats, just nice light coats, obviously working your way around everywhere. When you've managed to slowly build up the layers, what we're going to do now is go for the, the what I would call, and I guess some of you might call or know by, is the wet layer. So this is a thick layer of paint you put on now. Um, it's tacky enough to hold it and it shouldn't run. So, making sure the can's ready to blast. We're going to start from this side, I'm going to wipe my way across, just trying to make sure that everywhere is equally covered. And there she is. Right, let's have a look at fitting this back on. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to poke the electric connection back through. Right, so we're going to connect up the cable first. So, I'm going to bring it around this side for ease. That's connected. Pop it back in the rivet. Okay, we're going to start with the little screw there, which can be quite fiddly because of the angle the screwdriver's got to go at. Now we're just going to pop this little one in here. It's going to have to do a kind of a backhander through there. Thread that onto there. Right. Screwdriver through the gap. Get this one nice and tight. Then I can just go ahead Sure, these ones are nice and tight too. There's one there, and if you remember, there's one in there too. I'll just take you in and show you those. So, one just in under there above my finger, uh, one here, one there, and one there. Okay, so we're going to put the uh, inside grab handle back in. So, I'm going to pop the first cable through there. A little bit tight. Oh, gonna have to go back out slightly. And we remember to this cable here drops in and down through that hole there. Now it's a bit fiddly. You have to give it a little bit of guidance, but it does go in. Right. So what we're gonna do is go apply some pressure to get them to slip underneath the metal. Push 
pushing into place. Ah, it's fiddly. And that's it, all back together at the back end. Um, I have to admit it was an absolute pest trying to get it all back in place properly. Uh, but she's in, she's done. And the handle itself is on there. So thanks for watching guys. If you found that video useful, hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you all soon. In the next video, I'm gonna be going to meet the thousandth subscriber. See you soon.